All right, man. Let's look at the uh, Detroit Lions uh, depth chart real quick. Appreciate everybody for tapping in. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. The subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance of notifications. Don't forget the link tree. Find me on Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Only three ways you can reach out to your boy. They got a couple interesting things on the depth chart. I mean, obviously, we know first and foremost, a disclaimer, we know that this is not going to be the, uh, you know, this is not going to be probably the end result. You know, we only had a week of, a week of a training camp. Um, so this definitely is not going to be the end result. So, you know, some people are good practice squad play, practice players. Some people are good game players. So, you gonna get somebody come out there and play some good football and surprise in a real game situation. So that's something that uh, that's something that you gotta keep in mind. But they only been practicing for like what, ten days or something of that nature. I, um, obviously later today they will pick on the uh, Jesus Christ. Who they play at the Atlanta Falcons? But but one of the things that stuck out to me is that Tim Boyle is beating out David Blog. And like I said, man, at some point you just you just get over it. You just get over it, bro. They they don't feel like a need. They they happy with their quarterbacks, and we're gonna see um, if if they gonna if, if that's really you know really you know obviously I really feel that way about their quarterbacks. I feel the completely opposite. They number one thing was to, should have been looked for an upgrade this offseason. and they didn't do that. That should have been a number one thing is look for upgrade. Hold on one second. Sorry, y'all. It was a look for upgrade. That should have been a number one thing was to look for upgrade. And they didn't. And not necessarily just golf. It wasn't you know just just to upgrade you know the backups. You know, but I guess if they feel like we lose golf, we did. We probably you know we probably and he off had injuries last year. Two people just tend to forget that. They probably were just saying like well, okay, we just start tanking then next year. At that point, maybe that's where they at. But. Yeah, you know, that's one of the things that uh that kind of really, 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 really stand out is that uh that Tim Boyle still beating on David Blog. I, I mean, and I, I think David Blog, I mean, they both ain't that good, but I think David Blog way better. In my humble opinion. I think he way better. Way better. I don't even think it, it it's 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 a it's close, you know. But you continue to look. Offensive line: Decker, Jackson, Ragnall, High Tide, Sewell. No surprises there. No surprises at tight end. Davis Funches is like one, two, three, four, fifth. So he probably in danger of not making a team. So the starting receivers are uh, DJ Shark, Josh Reynolds, and Amari Rod in the slot. That's who your starting receivers are. So I mean, I don't really think it's no, it's no, uh, no surprise there. Uh, we, I, I told y'all Josh Reynolds was gonna start. It's just come on, that may, that made too too much sense. You know, you got two big ranks, fast big receivers that can take it deep. You got a tight end, the slot receiver, and Hawkinson and Amara Ra, who can really kill the intermediate and short part of the field. Come on, so I mean, I don't want to hear no excuses this year, bro. I I don't, and I know that's pretty much what we headed for, but I don't want to hear no excuses about golf this year. None, none. He got everything he need. If these guys get injured, he came in. When you making thirty million dollars, you making that type of money, you supposed to make shit work. You know what I'm saying? You supposed to make stuff work. You pose, you supposed to make it happen. You ain't got no cheese, man. You turn. We'll make some cheese in the back. <laughs> you know. We'll make some cheese in the back. You know. But you know, I saw to look at, but yeah, you know, the receivers look good, you know. Um backing up Josh Reynolds, Khalif Raymond, he hit a, a Trinity Benson. That's not good for Trinity Benson at all. And the, the second backup is Quintess Cephas and Maurice Alexander. So he's the number one backup, Quintez Cephas. So I mean, yeah, the Trinity Benson, man. I, you know, he, he put a lot of work in the offseason, and him at golf was refusing to work with him. Uh, 
you know, you know, so, you know, so I don't think he's going to make the team. You like his speed, though. You know, you like his speed, but, but Cleef Raymond kind of was a little surprise, a shocker uh, last year. Honestly, he was a little like he was a little like he played better than I uh I thought. Real talk. He played way better than I thought last year. So I was like, dang. You know, so yeah, I, I like him. And then also he got kick return ability and uh and uh Trendy Bissett don't possess that neither. Special teams, that could be the difference. I was listening to Pac-Man Jones on I'm an Athlete podcast. He said that's what that's what the difference was between uh between Tennessee picking him over over uh uh Antran Row. Antra Row. People forget Antra Row was a, a cornerback coming out of Miami. People forget that. He was a cornerback coming out of uh Miami. You know, and that was the difference. That might be the difference why Khalif Raymond is gonna have a roster spot. And he wasn't he wasn't too bad as, as a receiver last year. He's better than I expected. So um keep rolling. Um DeAndre Swift is the one back, Jamal is two, Craig Reynolds three, and Tim Boyle four. I mean Jamar Jefferson four. So I feel that Craig Reynolds should start. That's what I feel. We seen enough of DeAndre Swift trying to get the rock, but he did transform his body this year. But I just seen enough of that, bro. And just use him, use him, use him accordingly. You you need somebody that's physical like uh, Craig Reynolds, you know, and, and young and physical. You know, you know, hey, Jamal Williams could do all that yelling and screaming. He couldn't hold up in his first full year with an opportunity. To get a bigger load than Green Bay, neither. Man, go with that young boy. Let that young boy go out there and, 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 and handle the rock. And then, you know, you, you scat back in uh, DeAndre Swift. You sprinkle in some DeAndre Swift. That's where I'm at with it, though. I ain't seen enough of DeAndre Swift. And people are not going to like that. I said what I said. I seen enough of DeAndre Swift. Literally. I seen enough. He you know he get he get it rolling for a minute then bam he back he back out oh my le my leg my clavicle you know what I'm saying you be like damn man and then he ain't even really no good inside the tackle runner neither he just be he just be he do be breaking off some good runs you know but that's just be on some in big run stuff it's just one big old run. Them tough, gritty yards and them physical yards, man, he ain't up for that. He ain't about that life. He ain't about that life. He don't even know when how to play through injuries and shit. They trying to teach him the difference between being injured and, and, and being hurt. You just think, like, why do they keep drafting these caliber players, bro? They this always getting injured. Is it their strength and conditioning plan? If it's is it uh is it they just, you know, they need to drink they, they milk and get their vitamin D? What is it? Lions, did y'all know that cockroach milk is healthier than, than cow's milk or more nutritious? You don't even supposed to drink milk at all anyway. But I, you know, that milk is not healthy for you. You know, but that's a whole different conversation that, you know, I'm not going to open up. But, but yeah, man, I don't know. You need, you need to figure it out. You need to figure it out. Let's roll. D-line, Aiden Hutchinson, Michael Brockers, Elaine McNeil, Charles Harris, the defensive line, uh, Anna Zorky, a backup to Michael Brockers. So I heard Anna Zorky was injured, so I don't know if that many going to play. Junior Court, Andrew Tui, back up to Aiden Hutchinson. Isaiah Buzz, backing up Elaine McNeil. Austin Bryan, backing up Charles Harris. Third string is James Houston, J Jason Cornell, Bruce Hector, Eric Banks. All right, um, this defensive line, I don't know, man. Without Anna Zorky, man, I don't like it. I don't like it. Without the boy in this work, I don't like it. It's being real. I just think that they uh they just too smooth. They don't have no they I don't know, man. They I don't like I don't think much of Brockers. How about that? 
I don't think much of him at all. You know, they need somebody that's going that's going who gonna be a dog in the middle. Come on, that's somebody who's gonna be a dog in the middle. That's what they need. A dog. You know, a dog. You know, but right now, man, and Josh Pascal out. And that's somebody that was going to, you know, post a slide in there and help McNeil. I mean, uh, uh, Levi Zorky out. Brockers don't get no penetration. Lane McNeil, he's a space eater. And then you look, you like, don't even got a lot of good run stoppers, neither. It's like Lee McNeil is like the big or just the big defensive lineman. I don't know much about Isaiah Bug, Bug, Bug but it don't seem like they got them, you know, that defensive tackle spot position that's worried me. That's just my opinion. That's what worried me. You know, but, but I, I think it's going to be a big step back for that defense this year, just looking at the highlights and looking at the players. You know, but that's just my opinion on it. All right, but uh, going to the linebackers, Chris Bohr, Alex Anazoni. So they so they so they got a nickel base uh, defense here. Chris Bohr and uh, Alex Anazoni uh, Anazoni is your starters. Josh Woods, Jared Davis is backing up at one linebacker position. Derek Burns and Sean Dion. I don't even know. Chris Board is. Uh, I don't even know where he is. So he was with Baltimore a couple years. Uh, play sixteen game, got some tackles. I don't know, man. They linebackers are awful, and I'm willing to bet he's pretty awful too. I'm willing to bet he's pretty awful. So Anazoni started him, and I'm not surprised. So Davis like he in danger of getting cut. I don't even know why they bought that bum back, but you know you a nice person, dude. They love to have them type of dudes in the locker room. When you a nice person, they love to have them dudes in the locker room. You'll find you you'll find some work in there. So Jared Davis is just trash. You can't even beat out Anazoni or Josh Woods or Chris Board or like dude. It's time for him to retire, bro. To be honest, it's time for Cuz to retire from the sport of, of football. And they brought him back. I said, bro, that just let you know that they got the same taste as whoever drafted Jared Davis. They got the same type of shitty ass taste. But you know, just being honest, I think it was uh was it Quinn Trisha that drafted him or Bob Quinn? I don't even care. I that was a very forgettable draft. I think they took T's Tabor that year too. Trash. Trash. You know, when you a nice guy, bro, he couldn't make the Jets. Why would you bring him to the Lions? Well, because he was injured. And this dude is on, on the fringe of getting cut, bro. You know, in, in a, in a, in a, I'm willing to go out there and bet it ain't a worse linebacker core in the NFL than the Lions. I, I can't see it. This is the worst linebacker core in, in basketball. I'm willing to bet it. I'm willing to bet it. They is horrible, man. And he couldn't. And he couldn't beat these dudes out. He couldn't even get second string. Yeah, it's time to hang him up. You, 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 you can't even beat out bums. You out here fighting for your life versus, but ain't like you can't make the Patriots or 49ers or whatever it is. Okay, cool. Cool. But the, this linebacker core? Crazy. Crazy. All right, let's keep going. I'm on here. We're already to start corner. Will here is your second starter corner. So some people consider him the worst football player on the team last year. Jeff Okuda backing up Will Harris the second spot. Bobby Price backing up Jeff Okuda. Mark Gilbert backing up Armani Rarier. Savion Smith backing them up. I I seen them get torched all fucking training camp, bro. It was just highlights on uh 
unless Jared Goff playing that will the highlights that I've seen and all that type of stuff. Um, and on, on hard knocks, they out there, everybody, the linebackers getting torched, they getting torched, corners getting torched. I can bet you a pretty penny. The, the offense is going to be decent this year, and the defense is going to fall completely out and be all utter trash. Mark my words. Mark my words. And then Santi, Tracy Walker, Deshaun Elliott started backing up Tracy Walker's FA, Melifanu, Kirby Joseph, CJ Morris backing up, Elliott and Juju Hughes backing them up. So, yeah. Uh, real quick run on this on, on defense, man, and the depth chart and offense. Trash. In my opinion, but hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. And the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase the chance to get notifications. We go live and drop a video. Uh, if you want to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link description. Hit the link tree, find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Appreciate the love and support. One time for one time. Peace.